Father, in the name of Jesus, we invite your spirit. Have your way. You are God. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are Father God who manifests your love in the flesh as the only begotten Son. As the Lamb of God, you took upon the sins of the world. You died on that cross, and on the third day, you were raised from the dead. Glory to God, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, one Lord, one God, awesome and mighty you are. In Jesus' name, have your way, Holy Spirit. Glory to God, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, the topic today is one. Three, but one, hallelujah. God manifests in the flesh. How awesome is that? God loved us so much, he did that. 1 Timothy 3, 16, he did that thing, and he did it well, hallelujah. God is saying for us to worship him as one. He says, remember, O Israel, remember the Lord your God is one. Hallelujah, we are to worship him as one. Like a husband and a wife are considered one. One. When you see the husband, you're supposed to see the wife. When you see the wife, you're supposed to see the husband. Jesus said, when you see me as the Son of God, you see the Father. And when you see the Father, you see the Son of God. Glory to God. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, three manifestations, yet one. He is awesome. He is mighty. But in the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no confusion about it. Our God is one. Glory to God. In Genesis, he said, let us make man in our image. Hallelujah. So, Jesus has always been with the Father. The Word and the Spirit bear witness. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And then God became man as a Lamb of God. The Lamb of God because the Bible says God purchased us with his own blood. Woo! Glory! God took on flesh to bleed and shed blood to redeem us. Hallelujah! Awesome! He's so awesome. He's so awesome. Glory to God. We worship Jesus as one. Hallelujah! He's worthy of the same honor. Hallelujah! Nehemiah 9.6 says, You alone are the Lord. The multitudes of heaven worship you. Hallelujah. Hebrews 1 and 6. When God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. Isaiah 45, 22 and 23, God's word says, I am God. Before me, every knee will bow. By me and every tongue will swear and confess. Glory to God. Philippians 2, 10 and 11. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to God. One Lord, one God. Hallelujah. So, when we worship Jesus, Jesus says, he says, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. When he said, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then in the book of Acts, that was done. And they were baptized in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 9, 6 says, A son is born, a son is given, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. And we are to worship him as one. When Jesus said, Cast out demons, devils in the name, in my name, you need to know when you're saying in the name of Jesus, you're casting out devils by the grace of God, by the spirit of God. But you're casting them out in the name of Jesus in all the fullness that he is. Glory to God. He is awesome. He is mighty. He is great. And he is faithful. And he is one Lord. And he is one God. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Jehovah. Hallelujah chose to manifest in the flesh. God's spirit is everywhere. Hallelujah. He says so in his word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he chose to put his spirit inside of this body of flesh and to manifest as the Lamb of God. 
though he was though he slept and he was sleeping in that boat when there was a storm, but yet the spirit, the father, never sleeps nor slumbers. But he was showing us when he manifests in the flesh, he was showing us an example of what it's like to be anointed by God. Glory to God. Because when he gave the Our Father's Prayer for us to pray, in that he's asked, he says, when you pray, he, when he said in there to forgive, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors, he never sinned. So that is an example of what we should do. So when he says greater things you would do, that's not meaning that you're going to do anything greater than what Jesus Christ did, God manifest in the flesh. That means that you're going to manifest his glory in more than one body, more than one person, so to speak, because it's still one body of Christ, but more than one. Now there's many who've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, so they have Christ Jesus inside of them, the hope of glory. So hallelujah. We praise Jesus for his awesome power. Father God raised him from the dead. How awesome. Raised him from the dead. But that same quickening power, he quickens our body and gives us life. God is great and faithful. He is one. One Lord, one God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time of study and we praise you, Father. And I pray that you bless everyone who took the time to sit at your feet in this study and continue to reveal how awesome you are, Father, to us in Jesus' name. Amen.